Hi everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you how to take a sweatshirt or a hoodie, an adult one, and upcycle it into a little outfit for your little one. So it's going to be a two-piece outfit. So it's going to be a little sweatshirt like this and then little shorts like this. So I will be using my serger machine for this uh, upcycle, but if you do not have a serger machine, that's totally fine. You can use your regular machine. You'll just want to use a zigzag stitch or a stretch stitch for the majority of the upcycle. All right, so let's get started. So before you start cutting anything, you want to lay out your uh, piece and kind of figure out where everything is going to lay. If you have a design, you want to make sure you put it where you want it. I have this little pocket here that is kind of a good place to put it. So. Um, and then also like you want to see if there's any seams that you're going to be cutting into so as you can see here um, It's kind of cutting into the seam But if I open up that seam instead of cutting it like if I unstitch it with my seam ripper Then I will have enough and then also you want to check that you have enough at the bottom um, You want to make sure that you're not like cutting into the band at the bottom um, And if you need to open up that bottom seam too, then you can plan on doing that also on the sides here, you want to make sure that you're not cutting into the arm seams like you would see here. Um, I sometimes do cut into the side seams if I want it to look a certain way or if I want the um, design to sit, to lay a certain way, then I will cut into the seams. Like if I were to want this to be in the middle instead of the side, then I would be cutting into that arm seam, which I'm okay with. But if you're not, then you want to make sure you're not cutting into that and just laying everything out how you want it. And you can do the same thing with mapping out your um, like arms or your um, any other piece. Um, if there's like a design on it, then you want to make sure that the design is just a certain spot. Then you can kind of lay that out too and make sure that it's going to be okay if you cut it a certain way. Okay, now that I know kind of where everything's going to lay and how I want it, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting. I'm not going to be cutting into any like uh, seams or anything like that, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, cut out just following the seams of the sweatshirt. So I cut out the arms on the armhole seams and then as you remember here I wanted to uh, unstitch that so I'm just going to cut above the stitch line so that I can unstitch it and have that extra room that I need for the top of my um, uh, bodice front piece. And then I'll cut out the side seams if you wanted like with this one you could take off the design or the stripes and reuse them but I have enough on the arm so I'm not going to reuse them here on the bottom there is a seam that I usually cut into and um, that way I can have one long strip of band instead of cutting them both out so I'll cut it on one side where the seam is already and then I'll cut on top of the band I don't want to cut into the band because I want to keep the whole thing um, as much as I can so I'm going to cut right on top of it um, cutting into the sweater and not the band and by cutting that one side now I have one whole piece that I can work with and then I'll just cut out that side okay so taking off the pocket can be a little tricky just because they kind of stitch that a lot so that it doesn't like come unstitched when you're putting stuff in your pockets so it can be a little tricky so one uh, tip is to use a smaller seam ripper I usually use my smaller one for most of the stuff just because it's easier to work with and then I just kind of start um, ripping up that seam that thread those threads little by little and just pulling and seeing where I need to rip the seams try not to pull too much though because you can end up ripping a hole through the actual sweatshirt so just be very careful and very patient with this part it can take a little bit but it will eventually come undone okay so now that you're done cutting up your uh, hoodie you should have your waistband your pocket piece your two arms your hood piece and then your front and back so now you can start cutting out your actual pattern pieces. So as you remember that um, this little part here was like going over the seam a little bit. So I'm going to unstitch that top part, which is just what was left over from what I cut off the hood. So I'm just going to unstitch it really quick. Okay, so now that I have unstitched that part, 
um, I have the room that I needed to be able to cut out that front piece. Um, usually when you unstitch a seam, you usually get about a half an inch extra, which is pretty nice. Um, so if you ever feel like, oh, I just need a little bit more room, unstitch it instead of cutting it off, and that way you'll have that extra room that you need. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it out. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the back. Um, I don't have a, like a design or anything that I'm trying to put somewhere, so I'm just gonna um, bump it up against the side so that I have um, all the extra fabric coming from this piece that I can use. Okay, so for my arms, I'm gonna start with the cuff. So the stretchy part is going to be going long ways. Now I'm gonna lay it on top of my cuff here to see how big my cuff is. So this is already folded in half when it's sewn onto the sleeve. So if I, I just wanna decide whether I wanna cut it open or if I wanna unstitch it open. So if my cuff was pretty big and it was like more than half its size on the actual pattern, then I could just cut it open because I would know that I would have enough um, uh, enough fabric for it. But this cuff is kind of almost half. It's about half. So I'm just gonna stitch it open, unstitch it open. That way I know for sure that I'll have enough um, fabric. Hopefully this makes sense. And I'll, it'll, I think it'll like make a little bit more sense once I open it up. So I'm gonna start to unstitch it. Okay, so now that that's unstitched, I can open up. Like I said, it was folded in half, so now it's gonna be double in size. So it's actually a little bit bigger um, than the cuff, so I could have opened it up by just cutting it, but it's good to just do it just in case um, you don't have enough fabric. So now I'm just gonna cut that cuff um, to the size that the pattern calls for. Okay, and now that I know that I had enough room with my other cuff, I'm going to go ahead and just cut off the seam on this one. Um, so I'm going to start by cutting off the side seam here. And then I'm just going to cut just the seam. So just whatever you see the thread that is being stitched together, that's what I'm going to cut off. Okay, then I'll just open that up and then cut down to size. Okay, so that same um, process is gonna go for this waistband here. So I'm going to uh, lay it, or move my, my pattern over to my waistband and kind of figure out how big that waistband is gonna be once I open it up. So remember, it's doubled in size and it's just, just a little bit bigger then the cuff that's the cuff pattern piece so I could cut it open if I wanted to or I could unstitch it either way it's gonna work so then we'll move on to our sleeve so we're just gonna cut open that side seam at the um, underneath the arm to open that up so then that we can cut out our uh, arm pieces so I'm gonna lay that out flat line it up and if I didn't have a design here that I was trying to line up, I would be cutting this more on the side like this, uh, just so I have more fabric um, to save for other parts or other projects. But because I have a design that I'm working with here, I'm going to line that up in the middle and cut it out. Okay, so for the next sleeve, um, the pattern calls for opposite sleeves, which means you wanna cut them opposite. So um, we just cut one out with the fabric facing up, and you always wanna pay attention with to your pattern and what they're calling for, because if you cut it out wrong, it won't sew together correctly. So this specific pattern does give you a right and a left sleeve, as you can see here, um, and you would just cut one with the 
both of them with the fabric facing up, you just cut one of each. But most patterns do not give you that option and they'll just tell you to cut opposite. So what you're gonna do when it does when it says that is you're gonna cut one with the fabric facing up like we just did with the other piece, and then you would flip your fabric over and cut it out with the fabric facing down. And I cannot tell you how many times I have messed this up, so just really pay attention um, to how you're cutting your fabric when you need those opposites, especially with upcycling because if you cut it out wrong and you don't have more fabric, you don't really have anywhere to get it, get more. So just really pay attention to that. Okay, so patterns will also sometimes have little markings or dashes that you want to mark onto your actual pattern piece. This will just help you um, when you're putting things together. So this has little dashes here. So I'm going to go ahead and mark those with my um, marking pen. Um, you can use chalk or um, Taylor's chalk or, or whatever you have to mark it. Um, and then the same thing with the other sleeve, I'm going to mark it there. Okay, since I already cut out the waistband that I need for the pattern, I'm going to use the remainder of the original waistband to cut out my neckband. So same process, I'm going to cut open that seam and then I'm just going to cut out my neck uh, band piece. Sorry, my camera wasn't recording, but I went ahead and cut out the neck band using the same process that we did with our other bands. Okay, so we've cut out all of the pieces that we needed for our um, sweatshirt, and now I'm gonna start cutting the pieces for the shorts. So I'm just gonna grab the scraps from the original um, hoodie and start to lay that out, finding pieces that um, are big enough for the short pieces. So I'm gonna cut out um, one of these pieces here. So this pattern also calls for opposites of uh, these pattern pieces. So I'm going to cut one out with the fabric facing up like I am now and once that piece is cut out I am going to flip that uh, fabric over to the wrong side and then cutting, cutting it out opposite. Just like this, make sure that I am using the least amount of fabric uh, waste um, as possible. So making sure that's up against the corners so that I can use the rest of the scraps. Okay, so I cut out the two uh, front pieces that were opposites. Now I'm gonna cut out the two back pieces that are going to be opposite. So I'm cutting out one with the fabric facing up and then I don't have enough scraps here in this piece to cut out the other piece. So I'm gonna look for more scrap pieces here that give me enough fabric so cut that out with the opposites facing the fabric facing down okay so unfortunately I don't have enough ribbed fabric here from the original hoodie to use for the bands on my shorts um, I could I could just make it work and it would just be a little bit smaller than what the pattern um, calls for and it would just be like the bands would just be a little bit thinner than what it, it should be which I have done before it turns out perfectly fine um, but with me upcycling so much I always have scraps that I haven't used so I have this extra band that I didn't use off a different project that I could use or you can always go to the fabric store and buy like ripped fabric or you know whatever extra fabric that you need to kind of just fill in those pieces that you need either way works you just do whatever you feel is best for that project so I just used the leftover band that I had for my uh, leg bands which I used the same process that I did for cutting out the other band pieces so so I didn't use my pocket or my hood which if your pattern piece that you're using does have a pocket or a hood you can definitely use these pieces for that because as you kind of saw we used the sleeve for the sleeve the front for the front the back for the back the bands for the bands um, so you can you kind of just use what you have or you can just um, if you're not going to use them you can save them for um, different projects like kind of like I did today I usually just save my scraps for different part projects okay so now on to sewing so grab your front piece and your sleeves um, this is where your markings are going to kind of come in handy so those markings are meant for the back of the sweatshirt so you're going to attach the opposite side of the marking so the marking is here so you're going to attach the other side to the front of your um, uh, front piece 
So here's a marking. Now we're gonna attach the other side to the sleeve. Okay, but a little cheat sheet is if you forget, if you forget to mark, this kind of curves up a little bit. And you know that the curve that's higher is always gonna go towards the back of the um, sweatshirt because the, the back is always higher. So just a little cheat sheet, if you do forget to mark, the higher curve goes towards the back of the sweatshirt. All right, so now let's attach them here. And once they're both attached, you are just going to sew that up. Okay, so now that it uh, is sewn up, you're gonna attach it to the back. So grab your back piece and with right sides together, you're gonna attach them to the other sides of the sleeves. Okay, once those are all clipped, you're gonna sew them in place. Okay, so now that you're done, it's gonna look a little like this. Now you're just gonna take the front or back piece, doesn't matter, you're gonna fold it over on top of each other, and you're gonna start it to line up those sides, all the way from the sleeve down to the body. Once those are clipped, you're just gonna sew it up. All right, once that's done, we're gonna work on our bands. So grab your bands, you're gonna grab one, and this is the cuff for the arm. So we're gonna fold it in half and clip that in place. And I usually just like to do it all at the same time. It's just more, it's faster and more efficient for me. So that was the neck band. Now I'm gonna do the other cuff, fold it in half, clip it, and then do the waistband. So open that up, fold it in half. These, the right sides of the fabric are gonna be facing each other when you're sewing this. So clip that in place. And then you're just gonna use a straight stitch and you're gonna sew right across each of those bands. Okay, so once those are stitched together, I usually like to add them on with the sweatshirt inside out. So I'm gonna use my neck band right now. So I stitched it up. Now I'm gonna kind of open up that seam and flatten it out and then fold it over. Fold it over and clip it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna fold over the other side, um, make it nice and even, and then clip that side. There. So you want them to be equal sides. So you want them to be like, pretty um, equal with each other just like this and then you're going to bring them in towards the middle and then you're going to clip those other sides and you want them to be pretty equal um, on the sides also so now that that's clipped you're going to have four equal corners of this band and this will just be um, a lot easier for when you're sewing and putting it on so we're gonna start with that side seam here so that's where I close that up with the sewing and that's gonna go towards the back so I'm just gonna clip that in the middle of the back of my um, sweatshirt and now I'm just gonna find the middle of my front and clip that front um, piece there all right so now you're going to grab the front and back pieces that you just clipped on and you're gonna stretch it until you kind of flatten that band out and then you're gonna find that middle of those sides and clip it. So again, grab the front and the back, stretch it out, find the middle, and clip it. Okay, so now you're gonna have that kind of equally uh, pinned to your sweatshirt. Now we're gonna add some more clips. So you're gonna um, grab two clips that are right next to each other, you're gonna stretch it out and find that middle and clip it. Again, grab two clips, bring that up, find the middle, clip it two sides, stretch it out, bring that up, and e make it nice and even, and clip it. So this will be easier when you're sewing. If you add more clips, it will um, make it nice and stable for you. So the more clips, the better. Okay, so for the sewing, the trick is to uh, go slow, adjust often, and always have a little bit of tension on that band. So the sweatshirt is always gonna be bigger than the actual band. Um, so you always want to just kind of tug it a little bit so that everything lines up. So as you can see here, 
um, the sweatshirt is bigger. So you're going to tug it until everything lines up, not too much because then it will make you wavy, just enough. Um, and then sew, making sure that you're grabbing all of those three layers um, that come with the band and the sweatshirt. So stop, adjust, a little bit of tension, and sew. And that's going to be the process throughout all of the bands. Okay, so now that we have the neckband on, we're going to add the waistband and also the wristbands. So it's going to be a little bit different, so we're going to kind of do a little bit of marking. So here I'm going to mark the side, the equal side here or the middle side here um, that is equal to the um, uh, stitching that I did here. So that seam right there, I'm going to line up with that um, marking that I just made and then I'm going to mark two more on the side. And this is just going to kind of give me four equal parts of that sleeve. And then those two seams here are going to be my markers for the side. And now I'm just going to mark the middle here and the middle back. Okay, so since I've already corded off my um, cuffs here, what I'm going to do is just I'm going to go around and match up those markings. So here I'm matching up one of my um, sides to that side. And then I'm just going to mark up or I'm going to match up the rest of the clips with each other. Okay, so now they're all equally matched up and you have four equal parts that you can do the same thing with that other sleeve and now we're going to do the same thing with the waistband. So the seam on the waistband I'm going to match up with one of the sides of my waistbands here. So match up that side seam with the side here and now I'm going to match up these uh, corners clips and just clip them together so that they're all equally together. Okay, so those four are now clipped together and now we're going to go around and add more clips kind of like we did with the neckband. So grab two clips, spread them out, find that middle, again, get two sides, spread them out, find that middle, stretch it, bring everything together equally up and then clip it. Okay, so now that those are all clipped in place, we're going to use that same process that we did with the neck bands to do the rest of the bands. And if you need a more in-depth tutorial on how to do that, I do have one available that I will link below. Okay, so now for the shorts. We have the two front pieces and the two back pieces. You're going to lay the two front pieces together with right sides together. And then you're going to clip those in place. And then you'll do the same for the back pieces clip them and clip them together with right sides together. Okay, now we're just going to sew those together. Okay, so now that those are sewn up, you're going to lay them together with right sides together, uh, match up those sides and clip them up. All right, now that those are clipped, you're also going to clip the bottom and now we sew the sides and the bottom together. Okay, so now for the cuffs. So the cuffs, same process. I folded them in half right sides together and I sewed up those ends just like this. And now we're going to open that up, flatten out those seams, fold it in half, and start to clip. Okay, so I'm kind of just clipping to make everything folded in half and then I'm going to go back and readjust those clips to make them quartered off as we did with all the other bands that we used. So here is my side seam. I'm going to match up the bottom clip here to make sure they're nice and even on the sides and then bring those two together and make sure my other two clips are on the side. Just like that. Okay, so now we have that quartered off. 
So I did both of them and now we're going to kind of just do some markings on our uh, leg holes. So I already have two seams here that are marked as my sides. So now I'm just going to mark the middle of between those side seams just like this. And now I am going to flip this wrong side out because I prefer to put on my cuffs that way. So now I'm going to that side seam here. I'm going to add it to the side, one of the side seams of my um, of my leg hole. So place that right inside and match up those seams and then match up those clips. Remembering that those side seams are going to be one of your markings for your sides. Okay, so now I have those all matched up together and ready to sew. Alright, so we're going to start sewing a little. Remember the trick is to go slow, readjust often, make sure that all three of those layers are being sewn together. So sew a little, stop, readjust, sew a little, stop, readjust, make sure that you're pulling a little bit of tension and make sure that all of those layers are nice and flat and even. All right, so now we're gonna add the elastic. In this elastic, there's gonna be a chart that tells you how much you should cut out. So you're gonna fold it over a little bit and they're gonna zigzag stitch this together. Just go over it a few times. Then it's gonna look a little like this. So you're gonna quarter this off, kind of like we did with the bands. So you're gonna put a clip right to the side of this, bring those together, clip and clip, okay. So now we're going to add it to our shorts. So the back seam here is going to go towards the back inside of the shorts. So we don't have to quarter off the shorts because you already have four side seams. So we're just matching up those clips to the four side seams. So this is going to the middle seam. This is going to the side seam. That one's already on the back seam. And then we're going to add that to the other side seam. Okay, so now that that is quartered off. So now we're going to go around and add more clips, just like we did with everything else. So grab two, stretch it out, find that middle, and mark it. All right, so find two, stretch it out, walk your fingers in, find that middle, and clip it. So one important thing with adding bands and elastic like this is you want to make sure everything's even. So um, just once you're done with everything, kind of look at um, what you put together and make sure everything's nice and even. I just want to look at the loops in between and make sure that everything's kind of even. This one right here is a little bit bigger than the other one. So I'm just going to kind of pull it out. So make sure those loops are kind of even. This loop right here is a little bit bigger than the other ones. So I'm going to kind of pull and make sure that everything's kind of even. Okay, that looks a little bit better for me. And now I'm going to start to sew. So you can use your regular machine to add the elastic using a zigzag stitch. If you aren't gonna be using your regular machine and using a serger, just make sure you disable the knife or the blade before you use it. So same process as the cuffs, we're gonna sew a little, stop, readjust, and just continue to have that tension on the elastic. And I always kind of hold it back here too um, to give it a little bit more guidance. So stop, readjust, make sure that you're pulling enough so that the everything is nice and even and flat. So you can stop, readjust, pull, and sew. All right, so that's sewn on. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the elastic in. So just like that and clip it. And I'm kind of just starting with the seam. So flipping it in and clipping it, flipping it in and clipping it. All right, and like everything else, you kind of wanna add a few more clips in between. 
so I'm just going to kind of give it a little bit of a stretch make sure everything is kind of laying nice and flat and nice and even like we like everything to look so just a little bit of stretch there find that middle and clip it all right so now that that's clipped now what we're going to do is we're just going to go around and zigzag stitch that in place okay so your machine um, has the ability to just remove this part here uh, most machines have this ability so I'm going to remove this from my machine and this just allows for the shorts to go right around um, your machine and it will make it easier for you to sew so make sure you're on the zigzag stitch this right here is kind of like a, a guide to how I want to sew so that it sews evenly around um, if you don't have this you can just grab a piece of tape and add it to your machine and that will kind of be the guide as to where you want to sew this will make a little bit more sense once you start sewing also I do have a walking foot on my machine just because I like especially with thicker fabric um, it helps with sewing that so I'm kind of feeling here to feel where the elastic ends and that's right where I want to sew right on top of that edge so I put my guidance right where I want to sew and now I'm going to start sewing. So back stitch first. And then you're going to pull from both sides, from the back and the front. Pull and make sure everything is nice and flat and nice and even. And then you're just going to start to sew. Stop, readjust, make sure you're still right on the elastic. And you're just going to go around doing the same thing. So stop, readjust, make sure that you're, that on the, you're on the elastic, pull from both sides and continue to sew. Okay, once you get back to where you started, you're gonna just back stitch that to lock that in place. And then you're done. And there are your shorts. And here they are together. Okay, that was a lot, but look at how cute this is. So worth it. All right, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, and I will see you next time.